Moscone with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. All right, good afternoon. And as far as the weekend goes, compared to when I looked at some data yesterday around this time, things are actually improving. Part of the weekend looks just fine. We'll get to that in just a second. Here is what I'm tracking. Now, we will be keeping our cool for the next several days, and things will be relatively quiet around here. So that's for today and tomorrow. Temperatures in the low 40s, not brutally cold. We can handle it. We're tough southern New Englanders. Then a 50-50 weekend on the way. So Saturday still looks kind of dreary, but a little milder. Temperatures in the 50s, but we'll get plenty of rain falling at times throughout Saturday. But then on Sunday, we should see sunshine for most of the day. We'll get some cool breezes in the afternoon, but all in all, not a bad end to the weekend. And then things get kind of tricky as we go into next week. Monday through Wednesday, we're watching a potential storm that could bring a combination of rain, wind, and maybe even a messy, wintry mix of precipitation. But a few question marks with this system. The first is how close. It's still possible it tracks offshore and doesn't really produce anything around here. And also, which days? Initially, yesterday when I was looking at this, it looked like maybe Sunday into Monday. Now it may be more of a Tuesday, Wednesday event. So we'll keep tracking this for you as we go throughout the next several days. Some beautiful blue skies out there right now. A few streaky clouds overhead. Temperature 43. The winds are brisk. They're out of the west at 13 miles an hour, and they will stay busy as we head throughout the afternoon. So notice we do have some of those hazy clouds streaming in from the west. We don't have to worry about this snow on the way today. In fact, it's rain that will be a main player in our weather as we head late Friday night into Saturday morning. In fact, we can detail that going hour by hour. Now, normally I would give you a zoomed in approach to this particular forecast but I wanted to show you a couple of interesting things going on in central and northern New England as we go into late Friday night. Notice how I'm just kind of fast forwarding through most of tomorrow because most of the tomorrow was rain free and dry. No problems out there, but you can see at five o'clock the showers start to approach from Pennsylvania. And then as we go deeper into Friday evening around 10 o'clock, showers start to move in from Connecticut. But notice the pinks and the blues north of the Mass Pike. If you're traveling into central or northern New England, especially north of the Mass Pike into Vermont and New Hampshire, there may be a period of icing where the roads get really, really dangerous. So that's something to keep in mind if you're traveling to the north tomorrow night. If you're not, we're going to be dealing with just the plain old rain showers. You can see after 11 or midnight, the showers come streaming in, and then these showers will be with us off and on throughout Saturday. But then the system is out of here as we head into Sunday with some cooler breezes taking over. As for today, not too bad. Mid to upper 40s, 47 Charlestown, 46 Westerly, Newport, 40, 45 degrees. Winds out of the northwest at around 5 to 12 miles an hour. Still could see some gusts of around 15 at times. We'll be a few degrees cooler here in northern Rhode Island, 43 in Burville. 42 Foster, situate at 42 degrees and 45 in Johnson. So you basically take the temperature you have right now, add another few degrees, and there is your high temperature for today. 46 year high in New Bedford. The eyewitness news threat tracker not showing any severe weather threats over the next several days. Again, that rain on the way tomorrow night should stay rain here locally and not produce any icing. But again, if you're traveling north, that's where you could run into a few issues. Seven day future cast shows the showers moving in late tomorrow night, primarily after 10 or 11 p.m. Then Saturday's the dreary day. You can see an inch of rain is actually possible. And then on Sunday, we could see a few pre-dawn Sunday showers. I think the latest they would last on the Sunday would be 7, 8, maybe 9 o'clock in the morning. So most of your Sunday is rain-free and breezy. And then again, Danielle, we are watching next Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday for that potential coastal storm to develop. But things very iffy at this point on that particular storm. All right, thank you, Pete. Now we want to give you a quick look at what we're working on for Ivy's News starting live at 5 tonight. An icy rescue, a dog-loving New England firefighter jumps into action to save this canine.